All righty then. Okay. Another oh, crazy Friday night. Oh, crazy Friday night in Brandon, Florida. Okay, so my name was Jose. Uh, I used to play street hockey, deck hockey, bowl hockey uh, competitively. Went to you know travel to tournaments, that sort of thing. Although I was a Division One college soccer player, um, it was kind of like my my number one passion um, in many ways. I played one year of ice hockey, parents divorced, couldn't afford the uh, ice time, but back then street deck hockey was hugely popular in Philadelphia, and, um, and so and currently I was learning soccer and street hockey at the same time, which was an awesome thing. <clears throat> so, what is a guy wearing a flyer shirt in Tampa, doing with a golf club in his hand, and going to teach anything about street hockey? Well, swinging a golf club, a hockey stick, baseball bat, and even a medicine ball have a lot in common. How your body, especially your lower body, reacts to the swing is basically the same. So a lot of what I'm going through is a these are derivatives of stuff that Sean Clement from Wisdom and Golf, uh, WisdomandGolf.com, uh, shared with me. Uh, he uses one of the few uh, people who uses neuroscience and neurology principles uh, to teach you how to swing things organically because your brain will do things for you, uh, will help enable flow of performance and destroy flow, flow of performance based on where your focus is and, or rent. So, medicine ball. It's a 10 pound soft medicine ball, you can get it at uh, Walmart or uh, Marshalls. And so if you're swinging a medicine ball, I'm gonna do it feet together for a reason. This forces me to rotate my body. My, I can sway with my legs apart, but if my feet together, I can't sway at all. So when I swing, first off, let the medicine ball hang from your shoulders, right? Creating a pocket, your butt to, uh, towards, La, uh, in this case, La Palma Volcano. And now I have an established point. Now if I swing back and through without stopping, my butt is having to counterbalance this motion. Right? If I, my, my body doesn't turn, the medicine ball is gonna pull me, right? But if, I am turning with the swing, and the swing, finding the swing, being in sync with the turning of the lower body, turns your body into a trebuchet, catapulting the medicine ball back and through. Right? So, here's from this angle. Now, here's a cool thing. Feet together again. When I'm fully extended, look how where my shoulders are and my butt is. This is full extension. Back down again, full extension. My butt has to clear so my body can clear so I can get this full extension. Same thing is true in a golf swing. Same thing is true with the hockey selection. Okay? So all these three things have in common is how your lower body sets up the rhythm of the swing. And in street hockey, it's, it's a surface without that has a lot of friction in it, you can grab the ground. And we'll go talk about that later. So now we're getting to a golf club. Why a golf club, you may ask? Well, this is to uh, tell parents that if your kid's right-handed, don't buy them a right-handed hockey stick. This country, 60% of the kids play right-handed. The rest of the world is two-thirds to three-quarters of the people play right-handed. They play left-handed. They're all backhanders. Okay? So if two-thirds of the rest, two-thirds, three-quarters of the rest of the world is is backhanded, why is that so? Well, parents, oh, right-handed per kid, right-handed hockey stick. But there's a reason why being a backhander is important, and the golf swing is going to show you something about that. A lot of your top golfers are actually backhanders. Ben Hogan, Phil Mickelson, VJ Singh, Sergio Garcia, Jordan Speed are backhanders, meaning that they're left-hand dominant playing right-handed, or in Phil Mickelson's case, it's the opposite. And there's a reason why this is helpful. So, if I'm going to do a one-handed swing with this golf ball, let me get to the back, right? With my left hand, right? With my right-handed club, and I want to get full extension, my body has to clear. My body has to clear in order for me to get full extension, and then when I throw it, throw the bottom club, my body will turn to allow access to that. The momentum of that swing is going to turn my body, pick up my head automatically, right? Now, after establishing the width of my backswing. Now I do the same thing with the right-handed swing, and now I'm going to throw the club there. 
now, wow, much more pronounced. Not only the momentum of the right arm pulling you through, right, but your brain anticipates this and gets the body out of the way quicker so that you don't tear a rotator cuff and then you can't kill a lion, kill a, your evening meal on the Serengeti uh, in Africa or in the mountains of uh, Montana. So your self-preservation system will kick in to clear the body more quickly with the right hand and then you put those things together to give you full backswing and full fall. Okay? Pardon me, I'm swinging a golf club with soccer goalie games. Okay. So the problem is, is that the back, if you're, the problem is, is that the hand at the end of the club is, the, is, in, is in control of your backswing, right? Because your body will anticipate the need to clear the body. Now it created the potential to swing through, right? But right, but if you're right hand dominant, the, the problem is you'll pick up the club and that initiates your backswing and where's the turn, right? So in hockey, left-handed stick, what you see people who are right-handed with a right-handed stick do is they pick up the stick like this. This is the trigger for the backswing. But that's not loading potential for your, for your slap shot. Right? This is loading potential. It's leering. So this is my dominant hand. This is the trigger. I get that for free. Right? And then the transition is a pull, not a cast, just like in golf, but a pull. And then this is releasing at the bottom by pushing a kid at the swing, pushing a kid from the side on a swing. You're pushing them at the bottom to get them to go higher. Okay? So being a, back, being a backhander has its advantages out of the gate with respect to initiating the backswing on a slap shot. It happens automatically. Okay? So the, the, the litmus test is if you allow your kids to sweep the floor, which way, which, how do they sweep the floor? Okay, and then just regrip now and sweep the floor this way. Just that simple. Okay?